Hey, Lamar, first impression of this new offense, and how do you see this transition will benefit your game? Uh, the new offense is smooth, um, more verbiage um, than usual. Um, I like it. I'm, I'm loving it so far. Are you saying anything in this offense so far that maybe you wanted to see out of the new offense coming in? Uh, well, I just said it, you know, like more verbiage. Uh, coach, like, basically just giving us the keys to the offense, really. And like I said, I'm loving it. Not even just practice, I want to say, G. I say, uh, even in the meeting room, like, coach very active, like, he's talkative and, like, you're enjoying it, like, the learning process of what he's saying, you know, teaching us the, uh, the new offense, and it's fun. Well, I know you were here that. last year, different circumstances, obviously, but why did you feel it was important to be here today? Uh, new offense, you know, had, had to get that down packed um, before the season rolled in because the season's getting there. Um, even though we got a couple months left, but still just wanted to learn a new offense and get with my guys. Lamar, do you expect to be here for the rest of the OTAs? Yeah, yeah, I do. Lamar, how do you find yourself learning this new offense? I mean, how, how's it coming along? Uh, studying, uh, being in the meeting room, staying after. Um, when everybody leaving the building, I'm still here with uh, Coach T, Coach Monk, and going over things. Early uh, impression of Zay Flowers. I know it's early days, but I know you guys go back to the South Florida connections. Uh, Zay shifty. Zay very fast, explosive. Um, he can stop on a dime. I know y'all seen that. Like I seen it yesterday when you guys wasn't here, and I seen it today. So he's smooth. How good is it to see Bateman back out there? Well, it's great to see my guy back out there. Receive one for sure. I'm glad to see him back healthy. Um, can't wait to hear on the field. Lamar, when you say uh, coach is basically giving the keys to the offense, yeah. what, what exactly do you, what do you mean by, by that? Um, just, uh, you know, you can change things when you want to. You know, you see the defense is not looking right to you. Um, see some guy blitzing. You might want your receiver to do something different. Coach giving you the free will to do whatever you want to. When you look at all the guys that you can approach, and there's so many guys already targets out there, you're worried about making everybody happy. I mean, there are be some guys that aren't going to be, right, if they don't get the ball enough. I mean, I feel like if we win it, everybody should be happy. So we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> when uh, Lamar was looking for the OC, it seemed like you indicated that you wanted style offense. What, what does that mean to you? I guess you feel like Club Monkey does kind of have an offense. I mean, just being able to throw the ball down the field. You know, we sometimes, sometimes, you know, we can't. Running, not going, running can only take you so far, you know, and I feel like with, with this new era of uh, teams and offenses in the league, I, I feel like we need that in Coach Todd Munkin. What I'm saying, his offense so far is looking tremendous. You feel like you're, um, you won't have to run as much and that'll maybe be scaled back a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, especially with the receivers we have. Bay, OBJ, Zay, Dove, Pro, all those guys. You got Isaiah, the tight end. I can't say Zay. Isaiah, the tight end. Mark, my guy. Um, it's looking real good. Just from a health good. standpoint, how does it feel to be out here again? I feel great to be out here again. <laughs> Even though I was on the sideline a little bit, but you know, it feel great to see my guys and seeing everyone work so hard to you know, try to achieve this goal this year. In terms of your physical preparation, is there anything in particular you're working on this offseason? I know last season you wanted to come in, you wanted to come in a little bigger. I mean, yeah. is, is there a focus this, this summer? Everything, just, just getting back to me. I mean, that's just being the best that I can be, that's all. Lamar, is there something in this offense that you feel like would allow you to showcase an area of your game? Maybe that we've seen before, but showcase it more than just, you know, the running ability? Uh, you know, less running and more throwing, I say. You know, I hear a lot of noise about throwing and stuff like this, yards to achieve and stuff, but I'm not really worried about the yards as much. It's, it's about us just winning. So that, that'll be all the winning category, if anything. Do you think, Lamar, when you say less running, do you think that's something that could, in your mind, could, that could big picture wise, could extend your career, or is that something that doesn't really in your mindset about the less running? Uh, I really don't. To me, it really don't matter. I feel like however guy, however long guy want me to play, that's what it'll be. It don't matter about how long I'm gonna run, because the running backs. Uh, Frank Gore played how many years in the league? He was a running back, you know. So it don't really matter about running. You know, I feel like it's on you and God. Lamar, is there a peace of mind for you? You're in a football setting, and you can only, you know you're only going to be asked football questions now. Like for the last few years, there's always going to be <laughs> about something else. Is there a peace of mind there? Uh, nah, because I was cool regardless, you know. But um, it, it's, it's much funner, you know, about football. We're keeping it about football nothing else. 
How much do you like, you talked about Todd Munkin kind of giving you the keys and being able to change plays and stuff like that. How much do you enjoy that process? Do you feel like that can kind of unlock another element to the offense? Oh, well, I, I, I enjoy it a lot. You know, I actually love it. Um, and just hearing Cole just call out the play and then just stop and practice when something wasn't looking right and how he just, you know, blurted stuff out, it was pretty funny to me. But, um, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying it. A few weeks ago, you said you were looking at the playbook and you were excited to what you saw. A any other prep that went into it? I mean, are you watching like Georgia film? Are you sort of like, how are you experiencing? No, I haven't watched Georgia film. I've just been, you know, watching us practice. You know, the football school practices. I'm watching those guys and, you know, just trying to learn as much as I could. Yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like I feel like it is. You know, it's a little college in it, like a little college system, a little bit, but definitely faster. Definitely faster. It's cool to me. You know, it's new. <laughs> Lamar, on the on the subject of leadership, you've got five years in the league now. You've got a nice contract that you earned. What is the responsibility, as you see it, of leadership in your position? Uh, I feel like just being you, you know, at the end of the day, guys just want to see you being you and true to yourself and true to them as well, you know. And I just say um, I'm going to try to be more of a vocal leader, you know, because the coach was like, you need to start speaking more. <laughs> but it was like, you know, I just try to um, lead by example, if anything. But um, I try to be more of a vocal leader, if anything. Is that, Is that on the field good? or off the field? Where are you? Both. Both. The amount of conversation among the fans just about whether you were going to come to OTAs or not. Do you do you kind of find that funny? Do you do you, yeah. do you ignore it? Like, what do you make of that? I ignore it, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, man. All good. Thanks, Lamar. Thanks, Lamar. Thanks.